Hi there, this is Dave with Backroad Mapbooks, and today I'm going to be demonstrating a new feature, which is the BRMB Custom Search, and I'm going to be comparing it with the existing Mapbox Search and demonstrating how the results can vary. So before I get started, I'm just going to open up my Layers menu and show that I don't have anything turned on currently. And then to get started, I'm going to click on the search in the top left-hand corner. So this search is built off of approximately 425,000 searchable features. This includes all of our adventure points of interest, as well as um, features that we've included in the base map, such as uh, cities, um, land features, water features, geographic locations, that kind of thing. So to demonstrate, there is a famous uh, mountain peak on the Sea to Sky Highway up to Whistler called Black Tusk. So you can see as I type, it starts to suggest features that have Black Tusk in the name. So some of these are adventure features, some of these are water features, and some of them are land features. So I'm going to click on this one, which brings up the Black Tusk elevation POI from our base map. The search can also be used to search for water features. So if I were to search for Seymour Lake, for example, and click on this. So it brings up Seymour Lake, which is in here in North Vancouver. So the new BRMB search is great for searching for adventures as well. So if I were to search for Cultus, as in Cultus Lake, you'll see it brings up all features with Cultus in the name. So we have Cultus Lake, Cultus Sound, Cultus Creek. So I'm going to further filter it down by adding Lake. So now all the features have Cultus Lake in the name. If I wanted to filter by adventure, below the search you can toggle on the different adventures. So if I were to click on fishing, for example, it now filters all the fishing adventure POI. So if I click on this, it'll take me to Cultus Lake and it'll show the fishing adventure. So this is an example of a lake that offers um, bathymetry information as well. If you want to add additional adventure filters, such as parks, you can just simply tap to toggle them on. And such as trails, for example. So you can see as I'm clicking on different features, it's turning on the different adventure layers that are associated with those features. Okay, so if I were to search for Island Lake, You can see it brings up a list of everything with Island Lake in the name. I'm looking for a rec site in particular, so I'm going to click on the rec site adventures. And then clicking on the first item in the list, you can see it's taken me to that location and turned on the rec sites adventure. And lastly, if I were to search for Bear Creek, This is a popular ATVing area, so I'm going to filter it by ATV adventures. So you can see it's taken me to Bear Creek and it's turned on the ATV adventures. So I will open up the layers menu and you can just see that based on some of my search results, it's turned on different layers. So this is a helpful way to figure out you know, which layers you're most interested in. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to turn these off. Okay, moving forward, I'm going to demonstrate the map box search. So if I go into settings, I can change the settings to map box. And now when I bring up the search button, it brings up a very different looking search. So the benefit of the Mapbox search is it's powered off of OpenStreetMap data. So this allows for powerful searches for things such as addresses, um, popular points of interest, as well as businesses. So if I were to search for 1500 Hartley Avenue, 
you can see this is the location of our office here in, in Coquitlam. If I were to search for a popular point of interest, such as Banff, Banff National Park. So it'll take you to the location where Banff National Park is on the map. And then if I go back to my local area, this map box search also allows you to search for uh, different businesses based on some of these useful categories. So if I were to click on gas, for example, it brings up a list of the closest gas stations that are near me. Selecting a name can bring up the location on the map. And when you open the map box search, if you need to close it, you can simply click the same button in the top left corner to close it again. All right, so I think that finishes demonstrating the new BRMB custom feature search feature, as well as the map box search. Um, this has been one of the most requested items from our customers. So if you're happy with these new search tools, please feel free to leave us a review on the App Store. I think that's all for today. Thanks very much.